section contains questions about the contact information for the principal applicant. The principal applicant's family name and given name will be auto-entered, and you will see it only if you had previously entered the name in the principal applicant's profile page. If you had not, you will need to go back and complete that information in the PA's profile page before it will be displayed here. Next, you will read the guide to understand if you need to select the yes option and what types of other names may need to be indicated. If you checked yes, then you will need to provide their other name in the space provided. The UCI number field will not likely need to be filled in since most refugees have not applied to come to Canada previously, so they would not have a UCI number yet. I do want to point out, however, that there is a known glitch in the PR portal that may prevent the application from being submitted. If you find that all the necessary information has been filled out correctly and all required files have been uploaded, but the primary sponsor is still unable to click on the button to submit the application, they should try entering a zero in this UCI field to see if that resolves the problem. Scrolling down now, you will see where to input the physical characteristics information. When you get to the date of birth, take note that the date of birth should already be visible, but if it's not, you will need to go back to the PA's profile page to enter it. Next, you will type in the city and town under the place of birth field, and then select the country of birth from the drop-down list. Scrolling down further, you will see where to enter information about the PA's citizenship and current country of residence. Relevant instructions are found here in the guide for citizenship questions, and here for the current country of residence question. When it comes to the drop-down options for the PA status in the country of asylum, the instructions in the guide only refer to those who do not have any status. In the case where the principal applicant has registered as an asylum seeker with the UNHCR or the government of the asylum country, you will select Refugee Claimant. In the case where the principal applicant has received their refugee status determination document, you will select the option Protected Person. If they have not received refugee status in the country of asylum, but they do have a different status that is shown in the drop-down list, choose that option. Otherwise, follow the instructions in the guide for other. Question 11 in the instruction guide can be ignored because that question is not required for the online form. Next, you will indicate if the principal applicant has any previous countries that they lived in for more than six months. If yes, you will provide the name of that country, their status in that country, as well as the dates that they lived there. The next questions to answer are related to their marital and relationship status. Choose from the drop-down list the correct response and if you have selected married or common law, you will need to provide the name of the person they were in relationship with, as well as the date of marriage or starting date of the common law relationship. Then you will indicate whether or not they have been previously married or in a common law relationship. And if yes, you will provide the same type of details such as names and dates. This section is now complete. So you can select the button to save the information and continue.